sound is part of our everyday experience for it plays an important role as we communicate with each other. We produce sound as we speak. Therefore, we can transmit each other's thoughts. But how is sound produced? In this video lesson, we will describe how sound waves propagate from a medium. Specifically, we will discuss the propagation of sound waves. Sound is a form of energy that travels in a longitudinal wave. Sound waves are the best example of longitudinal waves. And to understand this, let us recall the concept of wave. A wave is a disturbance in space and time that repeatedly and progressively propagates from one point to another. The two most common types of wave are mechanical waves which is responsible for the transfer of energy through a medium and electromagnetic wave which does not require a medium to travel. There are two types of mechanical waves. Longitudinal waves where the movement of the particles are parallel to the motion of the energy. One example of this is sound waves. When the movement of particles is at the right angle or perpendicular to the motion of energy, then this type of wave is known as transverse wave. There are different properties that explain the physics of sound. Wavelength or the length of the sound wave is the horizontal distance from one crest to another or from one trough to another. Frequency is the number of vibrations of a sound per unit of time. It is expressed in hertz which is equal to a cycle per second. Frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. This means that waves with higher frequencies have the shorter wavelengths. Another characteristic of a sound wave is amplitude. Amplitude is the measure of the amount of energy of a sound wave which is numerically equal to the distance between the crest and the equilibrium or the trough and the equilibrium. A region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are closest together is called compression. On the other hand, rarefaction is a region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are furthest apart. With this, we can say that sound is the result of the back and forth vibration of particles of the medium through which the sound is moving. Humans can perceive sound waves with frequencies ranging from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. This is what we perceive as the audible range, which varies depending on your age. As we grow older, the frequency of sound that we can hear is reduced. Sound waves with frequencies outside this range are not perceived by humans. For instance, frequencies lower than 20 Hz are called the infrasonic sound. Infrasonic sound waves are used by elephants in communication. Ultrasonic sound waves are waves with frequencies higher than 20,000 Hz. Now how do sound propagate? As a mechanical wave, sound needs a medium to propagate and transmit energy. The speed at which the sound is transmitted depends on the medium namely solid, liquid, and gas. This can be explained by the difference in the arrangement and movement of the particles in each medium. Which material transmits sound waves well? The particles in solids are compact and closely arranged next to each other. Thus, sounds can easily be transmitted from one particle to another. This makes it faster for sound vibrations to travel. Sound takes longer time to travel in liquids than through solids since the particles in liquid substances are slightly apart. Can sound waves travel in vacuum? Sound, when travel in a vacuum, for the transmission of sound requires a medium. If there is nothing to compress or expand, there can be no sound. Therefore, the speed of sound transmissions are fastest in solids, 
moderately fast in liquids, and slowest in gases. What are the factors that affect the speed of the sound? We'll reserve that for another awesome science. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.